Hey everyone, Melanie Minchinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I have a really fun, clean and simple card that you can make very quickly or mass produce for the holidays using my newly or rather recently re-released set, Press Flowers. So this is a bold two-step set that is coordinating with one of my best-selling sets, A Year of Flowers. So we've got some realistic blooms that are great for all different kinds of bold techniques. Today I am going to be using the poinsettia. What I'm doing over this though is I am layering an image from my A Year of Flowers 2 set. So this contains all of the different seasonal year-round flowers that you love from A Year of Flowers but in a sketchy style for more whimsical designs. So even though you've got something very realistic looking here, when you layer on that sketchy image it produces a really cool look. So very simple project today and pretty minimal supplies. We're going to be using those two sets, the Press Flowers and the Agira Flowers too. I'm also going to be using a greeting from the Holly Jolly Incentive Set. This is free for a limited time from Gina K Designs when you place an order of 75 or more. So you could get those two stamp sets that I'm using today plus some ink and cardstock and be there at $75. The other products that we're going to be using for today's card, I've got the new Gina K Designs Red Velvet Ink, beautiful, and the Jelly Bean Green for the center. And I'm going to be using the Versafine Black Onyx. This is really nice for detail stamping as well as for sentiment, so I wanted to use that one today. You're going to need some acrylic blocks. I've got some large and small ones. I've got a teeny tiny center for the middle of that poinsettia. This is a pretty large stamp, as is this greeting. Just got some simple adhesive. The cardstock that I'm using today is the Gina K Pure Luxury Heavy, or excuse me, Layering Weight White. And then this is the Red Velvet, and it's scored at five and a half inches, four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at five and a half. So I'll post these measurements again below. And then the final product that I'm using today, I got this when I went to Village Paper and Ink to visit Gina recently. So they are in the brick and mortar location, but they're not on the website yet, but they will be. All different kinds of colors, and you can create the look of enamel dots with these little drops. So it's very similar to liquid pearls. I really like that bright enamel, though. There's no pearl finish to them. It's just a really shiny enamel look and they're self-leveling so they really do come out just in a perfect dot. It's going to be so nice for embellishments and just creating those dots in any size or color that you want. All right, so let's begin by stamping our mat. I'm going to start by stamping out the poinsettia and I'm going to use that red velvet ink. So you want to make sure you have it good and inked up when you have a bold image like this. So I'm going to stamp this three times. I like to use odd numbers on my designs. And I'm also going to turn the stamp a little bit so that the poinsettia looks like a different flower in each location rather than that you're using the same image over and over. And I will go ahead and we'll stamp out the card so that you can see what it'll look like without adding that second layer with the outline. That's all the red we're going to do. Now I'm going to take just this little center and it's positioned right next to the poinsettia so you know it goes in there. But there's also different things that you can do with these little centers like creating little dandelion kind of puffball type flowers on your cards or just as a design element. Okay. So very simple. Again, you could really create a lot of cards with this quickly. And then finally, this Merry Christmas. So it has a hinge lid, so I'm going to push it back here so that I can get it all over that greeting. Kind of sticking a little bit. <clears throat> all right. So I'm going to just put this right up here. Okay. So black looks so sharp and crisp on that paper. All right, so you could stop here, or you could do your dots now, but let me go ahead and show you how this outline is gonna change that stamp. So I'm gonna take the outline from my A Year of Flowers 2, and I've got lots of videos, and I have the A Year of Flowers 2 in my playlists. Okay, so I'm gonna ink this up. Okay. And it's not going to line up exactly, but you can find 
how the petals match. So I'm not going to line up exactly again because it's a more sketchy version. And then stamp. Okay, so you can pick out the different size petals that are going to show you where it goes. Or you can just stamp it randomly and not have it line up even as well as that. And it'll still look really good. Okay. right here. Okay? I love how that really accents that black greeting. Now we're just going to use a little bit of adhesive. I have to get a new tape runner. I left it in Wisconsin. All right, so we're going to layer this just right on the coordinating base. And you can send it just like that or brush on a little bit of glitter, but let me show you how pretty these drops are. You're gonna have to leave them to set a little while so that they can dry. They're dry to the touch though pretty quickly, but it really kind of depends on the humidity in your area. So I don't wanna tell you exactly how long. So you're gonna start by just dropping it down onto the paper. You don't wanna touch it all the way to the cardstock, And then lift. And I want to do some that are small and then some that are big. You can do really big ones. So there's the red. And I'm going to actually fold this out so that it can just rest flat. And I'm just tapping on it a little bit and that's going to make it spread just a little bit more. You don't have to do that, but if you've really, really got it layered up, that can help it settle a little bit if you need to. And then I'm gonna use some of this, and I forgot to say what color this is. This is the Red Berry. They also have a darker one that's really pretty called the Autumn Red, but I wanted this brighter one for Christmas. And then this green one, I've got the Apple Green, and I also bought some of the Woodland Green, so I'll show those in another video. All right, so this is kind of a paler, bright, springy green that I thought was really pretty with the jelly bean green and I'm just doing these just at random just some small and large ones I like to do them in odd groupings vary the size I'll do a larger one right there and then I'm going to do just a couple here on the flower I forgot to do that with the red I meant to though I did that on my original sample so you can do just teeny, teeny, tiny, or a great big. Another one down here. Let me go back. I want to do some red on here also. So just a couple little red ones. And then you kind of stop and look back and see if you need any more dots to kind of balance out your design. And I'm going to put one little red one here because I always love to embellish the dots on eyes with little pearls or rhinestones. Put one out here just to kind of bring it out just a little bit. And that's it. Very easy card. I love the dimension on it. But again, just let it dry. I would say, you know, I would wait overnight just in case if you're going to be putting this in an envelope or putting something on top of it. But this I made just a little while ago and it was dry to the touch within just a few minutes. But I just love that shine. So pretty. I hope you enjoy this project and see how fun it is to use these two different sets, pressed flowers and a year of flowers, two together. Again, if you want a perfect match, then you get the pressed flower outline, or excuse me, the pressed flower bold with the outline of the original a year flower set um, but I've also again got some different videos that you can see where I color and do some sponging techniques so really fun things that you can do with this a year of flowers too and again I really really enjoy this set so I recommend it for your holiday cards if you can place a $75 order or more this month from Gina K Designs. Thank you so much for watching today. Please visit my blog Hands Head and Heart for more ideas and inspiration using all of our stamp sets from Gina K Designs and at Stamp TV. Thanks for watching today. God bless.